This video is for all those who truly want to wake up. Who truly want to expand beyond their ego identity. Beyond what the mind tells you you are. This is for those who aren't seeking an elevated ego identity. This is for those who simply want to know the truth. And can bear the ultimate question, who am I? When you ask that question, who am I? What comes to your mind? What I'm about to say is where the radical non-duality me message really comes into play. And that is, it doesn't matter what comes to your mind. Turn your attention to the light of knowing, or the light which knows it, the light which observed the answer. This light of knowing is your ultimate essence. There's a lot of non-duality teachers out there. And they're all good for different people on the path, depending on where you are. This is definitely an end of the road message. I want nothing from you but your own liberation. If you seek the ultimate truth, then you listen to messages like this and you understand them. You understand that there's nothing to gain here. I'm not giving you anything. And you don't want anything. But there's just a knowing within you that knows that so far, everything the mind has reported has been changeful. It changes in time. And you want to know what is ultimate, what is absolute. Who am I? Another one of these ultimate questions that you can pose to yourself is, am I aware? And of course, your mind will report back and say, yes, of course, I'm aware. But in that space between the question and the answer, what took place there? Don't overlook this. The mind overlooks this because it can't grasp what's in between that question and that answer. But something took place for you to know that you're aware. Awareness merged with itself. Awareness came to know itself. Awareness turned back on itself and became just what it is, the light of knowing. You are that. Do you find it uncomfortable to rest here? If so, you're trying to rest here with your mind. It's only the mind that feels uncomfortable in this space because it can't know anything. 
however, if you leave the mind at the door. And just rest here as the purity of being, the light of knowing. You'll have entered into your fundamental nature, your ultimate essence, the fundamental ground of existence. I am that I am. Right now, you're being welcomed into the truth of being. This type of knowledge has often been locked away and only provided to a practitioner after many years, maybe even decades in some traditions. Nothing within me tells me to withhold this information. Because if you've listened this far, you're ready. If you can hear these words, something within you resonates with them already. Your heart knows the truth. Something within you feels the truth of this and can become stabilized here without becoming destabilized. For in truth, if destabilization were to happen for you, you would be assuming an incorrect you. For it is only the light of knowing that is the true and ultimate you. So any movement of that is simply an apparition. It's what's termed the illusion or Maya. And I don't mean an illusion in that it's not real. I mean, it's an illusion in that it's a modulation or a movement of the truth, pure awareness. Everything is a modulation or movement of this pure awareness. The whole of reality is simply varying degrees or rates of vibration of this awareness. These varying rates of vibration account for the whole of reality. The infinite spectrum of experiential potentials. What we call the manifest world is simply a modulation of awareness. An oscillation of the single substance at varying rates of vibration. Non-duality is coming to know what that substance is beyond its apparent identity and form beyond its appearance and qualities as the manifested things, people, places, events, thoughts, feelings. All these are simply modulations, oscillations, vibrations of a single substance, which is awareness. You are awareness. I'm not withholding anything from you. This is all you need to know. All you need to know is that you are the light of knowing. Check in. Check in to your 
innermost being and see if this is true. And then see what essence is doing the checking. And tell me if that is the light of knowing. I am only the light of knowing. Do you feel an intense energy in the body right now? This is normal. This is the body-mind attempting to cope with the message. It's okay. You'll be okay. This is normal. What knows this? What essence is aware of these mind and body oscillations, movements of energy? What is aware? As you check in to find what is aware of this now moment, become aware that you are the light of knowing, the light which is looking the light which illuminates all manifestation and modes of being. This isn't a radical message. If anything, it's the most mundane message. I'm simply showing you what already is what always was, what always will be. Because this essence is outside of time. Does this seem like a concept to you? Then check. Is awareness outside of time? How can we check these things to know if they're true? Well, if you're aware of something, such as time, then awareness must be greater than that which it is aware of. It must be prior to its contents and modulations. What is it that is prior to all things known? It is awareness. If this awareness is prior to all things known, then can awareness itself be known? No, not by the mind. But it can be. And as that you are here and now. You are the single stuff of presence. You are the single stuff of being. You are the single stuff of existence. But when I say you, I'm not talking about your personal self. I'm not talking about your body mind. I'm not talking about you that's listening to this. I'm talking about the awareness that knows The awareness of you. The awareness with which you're hearing this message is the same awareness 
from which this message is being spoken. This is the illusion of separation. The stuff of awareness, can it be separate from anything it's aware of? No. Everything it's aware of is simply a modulation of itself. Of awareness. You are that. If you've made it this far, you'll notice what I'm doing here. I'm bringing you back and forth and ushering you back into the singular light of knowing. This is non-dual guidance of the highest order. There's no concessions being made here. There's very few of you that have probably made it this far in the, in the message. And for you, you're ripe enough to stabilize here. And as you do, simply recognize what this means. Knowing the truth of your being. What does this mean now? For your life. What this means for you now is you treat all beings as yourself because they are. You encounter all circumstances as a modulation of a single self, but be careful. This is not solipsism. You are not the one thing in existence. If you've truly understood the message, you'll understand that this self that you take yourself to be is the exact same self looking at you from another person's perspective. The light of knowing in you is the light of knowing in them. There is no separation. There is no you in them. There is only this. This singular plane of existence the unified essence of being. Notice what this feels like. What are the qualities of this? It's inherently peaceful. This would never harm itself. It's inherently loving. This would never judge itself. It's inherently free. This would never attempt to manipulate itself. So allow all modulations Accept all modes of being. Welcome everything you encounter into the light of simply this. Everything is this.